The man who conquered outer space makes a new conquest as he takes New York by storm. There's been nothing like it in history. 35 years ago, Gotham went wild over Lindbergh when he returned from his solo hop across the Atlantic. And there have been many wild receptions to returning heroes since. But today, tops them all as Colonel John H. Glenn has the town at his feet. Up Lower Broadway from Bowling Green, the Colonel and his fellow astronauts are showered by a storm of torn paper and ticker tape. Only the tape is thinner, for modern stock market machines don't use the same tape that was such a part of receptions in decades past. How big is the crowd? It's well beyond accurate estimates, but we'll quote Mayor Robert Wagner. He puts it at four million, and the millions roar. They roar a claim never before equaled in the city of traditional tributes to heroes. So overwhelming are their numbers that police lines are breached time and again as the people fight to get even closer to the man of the hour. Right in proper places of honor are Colonel Glenn's fellow astronauts, the men who are helping blaze trails into the future. During his brief stop at City Hall, Colonel Glenn signs New York's famous gold book that lists distinguished visitors. And from here, if they ever get his car through the crowd, he goes on to uptown luncheon in his honor. There were two bands in City Hall Plaza that were scheduled to play, but they were swallowed up by the crowd. Glenn gets into orbit once more and is whisked to the luncheon where he is presented with New York City's Gold Medal of Honor, an award that is normally presented only to heads of state. Climax of a great day in the life of a great hero. Tribute to a man who made history. A salute to Colonel John H. Glenn, the man who sent an entire nation into orbit. <laughs>